From folk music to hip hop, music and activism share a deep and connected history. For decades, singers, songwriters, and bands use music as their platform to share important messages, inspire action, and create long lasting and positive change. The list of global artists who are helping to make the world a better place is a long one. Here in South Africa, we are lucky to have our own immutable voice against disease and social injustice. This is Ivan Chaka Chaka, singer, songwriter, humanitarian, global UNICEF ambassador, Princess of Africa. From her debut album and every album since, her rise as a musical star has been meteoric. Today, she's one of South Africa's most popular and internationally recognized singers, best known for her fusion of Afro-traditional and world sound beats. Outside of her impressive musical career, she has an inspiring resume of humanitarian work. Yvonne is a champion for the Global Fund, a United Nations envoy, goodwill ambassador, and was chosen by Nelson Mandela as the first ambassador for his children's fund, all before starting her own charity. But it's the mutual respect she and Japan shares that has led to some of her most recent work across the African continent. I'd met a couple of people from Japan because I do lots of work as a, a UNICEF, Rollback Malaria, Goodwill Ambassador. In her roles as Goodwill Ambassador for the Rollback Malaria Partnership and UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador for Malaria in Africa, Yvonne has been a fierce advocate against malaria, a disease that is endemic to 14 of the 16 countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. In fact, just five years ago, it was estimated that the region was home to 89% of the active malaria cases across the world. I met such honest people from Japan who were doing malaria nets, a company called Sumitomo, and they were opening this big factory in Tanzania. And I went to open the factory for them when they're ready to distribute them and, and make sure that Africans even know how to make the nets. They were imparting their knowledge to Africans. So all that you don't do it on your own. You do it with business, you do it with government, you do it with civil society. Without mosquito nets, people in affected areas, especially children under the age of five, are more susceptible to bites in the places where they sleep and when the insects are most active. Each ITN or insecticide treated bed net can remain effective up to three years against mosquitoes that carry malaria and other diseases, making them massively effective. It has been very humbling uh, traveling the world, uh, seeing less children dying from malaria, seeing people using those nets. You know, with Ashinaga, the children that came from rural Kenya, rural Uganda, and they're given a chance of a lifetime. Because you can imagine these young people are orphans, and some are studying medicine, some are studying to be engineers, some are studying anything that they want. Yvonne supports the Ashinaga Africa Initiative as a Kenjin Tatsujin, assisting in developing trust and authority for fundraising and establishing relationships. In Ashinaga's case, to aid regional development by providing orphan students with education, network and opportunities necessary to become leaders in their home countries. I think this is exactly what Africans need. Africans don't need a handout, they need a hand up. Yvonne Chaka Chaka is a great example of how artists, musicians and celebrities can use their influence to greater impact the world. It's also a good reminder that we all have our own platforms to use. By working with your local community, you can change lives one day at a time.